Today we need to get into Korean saying that Jungkook sold out a product recently and what happened with that. We also need to get into people saying 3D is being banned or protested over Justin Timberlake's feature. And then we have dispatch and police investigation. So you don't think it's safe to say hey or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab a dumpling, a sling book merch, and let's go. When you talk about G-Dragon and the recent drug scandal, G Dragon has been very open about the idea that he is going through the investigation and has even talked about complying with the orders and the investigation so it can go smoothly because he knows he is innocent. If you're unaware of what is going on, it's important to note that this is information in a neutral manner and I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. Lee Sung Hyun is a popular actor, has been under investigation for alleged drug use. It's important to remember that at this stage, these are just allegations and no charges have been filed. Similarly, G Dragon has also faced accusations and drug use. He has denied these allegations and has not been charged with any drug related offenses. And the investigation is still going on. Each person has their own accusation being made about them and Lee Sung Hyun's drug scandal and G Dragon scandal are unrelated to each other. They're just happening at the same time and thus get brought up together. It was recently reported and believed that someone named Madam K had some shady stuff happening behind the scenes. It's believed that she is notorious for drugs as well as lying. Apparently there's 10 people involved in her web of lies and she might have blackmailed them or whatever the situation is. She allegedly has created slander, threats, and all sorts of things to various people, and it's believed that the police have close ties with Madame K and are almost strictly getting all their intel from just her. And this was reported by Dispatch. They are currently looking into this. And I don't want to give too much information here as I am very confused as to what is going on and I'm struggling to say that this is for sure what is going on behind the scenes and something as dramatic and scary as possibly the police being involved with a scary person is a true thing that is happening. So I want to say this is just a theory going on. However, what is not a theory and what is very real is what is happening to G-Dragon. He is potentially going through one of the craziest moments of his life right now and it it may not even be for a specific good reason. It's crazy that a person, a random person that G-Dragon probably doesn't really know can go everywhere and tell people about things and they potentially get believed. And then now we have G-Dragon's career completely stopped. So just simply rumors and speculation or if the situation I just mentioned earlier is real, then someone else's potential lies can just end a K-pop idol's entire career. It's something that I wish more people would take with a grain of salt and not believe it's extremely hard to halt a literal Western celebrity's career, so I just don't know why it's so easy for a K-pop idol. And I think this is something that could happen to anyone. So even if you're sitting there like, good, I don't even like him, well, then the bar has been set and seems like once people realize how easy it is to have it done with G-Dragon, what is stopping them from doing it to any idol that you do like? So this is very concerning and the more famous and strong the idol is, the more there is this likelihood of them being this huge target. I can't even imagine if Jungkook were to be next, what would happen? Jungkook is such a huge pop star that recently when he went to Japan, people were saying that he had completely sold out a certain product. And I do want to say this is exactly why the boys chose the route of the dangerous fans coming at them at the airport. The boys take the opportunity to wear either clothes that are sent to him for PR or he wears the clothes that he gets paid for. Other times it could be clothes that he is associated with or clothes that he likes. This is why during the beginning stages when Calvin Klein and Jungkook were doing their ads, Jungkook was seen in completely Calvin Klein during his airport appearances. However, this brand that he completely sold out recently was not Calvin Klein. I say this to point out that these appearances are staged. So what brand was Jungkook wearing? He was wearing a brand called Graffiti on the Mind. This was a brand that he was associated with formerly. He was the in-house director of this brand and Jungkook and his brother both worked on it. And he probably handled things like how the brand would grow and maybe the design and that sort of stuff. There was a bit of a scandal with this and him, sort of. It was believed to be with the Korean FTC because I think he wore the clothes in a photo and posted 
it. While I can see the issue here, I'm also highly against such a situation to even be an issue. Because in the photo, we don't ever see the name of the brand. The brand does not have their name like splattered all over the front of the shirt. This is something that if you're a big fan of Jungkook, only then would you know. So it just doesn't make sense. So every time he wears the clothes, he helps make for the company. He needs to disclose that. That's ridiculous. That's like saying if I made a shirt, I have to go outside and tell everyone that I made it. The other issue is that the FGC called it backdoor advertising as it's his own brand. Later, Jungkook did step down as the in-house director and we don't know what his role is for the company now. However, this is definitely better as now he can wear the shirts without violating any parts of the law. As without association to it, he can just say that he likes the brand and wears it. So he wore a hoodie from the brand and the airport recently and apparently it completely sold out. The hoodie is not cheap, so it being sold out is definitely a big deal. People were calling Jungkook the sellout king. Of course, anything he touches or wears is gonna sell out. Firstly, for me, I never fully understood buying expensive hoodies. I understand buying hoodies like merch or tour merch and that sort of stuff. It's fun, I get that. But buying a Gucci hoodie, why? Like, just because you see Jungkook wearing it and it looks fantastic on him doesn't mean it'll look fantastic on you because at the end of the day, I don't think hoodies flatter people in any way. They're not supposed to, but maybe people just like it because it looks comfy. That could be a reason. But Jungkook has been in the news quite a bit lately and for other things other than him being a king at selling out his brother's brand, recently it was announced that Justin Timberlake is on 3D, a remix version, and he added a verse. So they took out Jack Harlow's verse and had Justin Timberlake in there. This is very controversial and I actually understand why. I'm not mad at the backlash. People protested, some wanted the song deleted and removed, just like they had an issue with Jack Harlow, they had an issue with JT. And then people were saying that there is a lot of sexism there. So what happened? If you are not aware, Britney Spears had a memoir come out in which she exposed or talked about the treatment of Justin Timberlake. Keep in mind that this is her side of the story and then also it's run through the news and a game of telephone so it might not be as accurate as what actually happened. However, it doesn't have to be for the internet to run amok and get upset because as we can see and from what we know, Britney Spears had a really terrible journey into fame and her journey was that of someone who should have never experienced the god awful things that the world, friends, family, media had all put on her. In her memoir, she allegedly alleges that Justin had used Britney to get more famous and Justin was a rising star when Britney and him had dated and Britney was already a household name. It was believed and trigger warning about abortion. Britney was forced to have an abortion even though she apparently wanted to keep it. And then Justin had allegedly refused to take care of her after and then somehow spun the story to make it look like Britney was slutty and he was just a good boyfriend. Of course, this was not hard to make the public believe as at the time, the world really hated women and already believed every woman was slutty. So now, what does this have to do with Jungkook and the song 3D? Well, Justin got so much backlash once Britney's memoir came out that he even disabled the comments on his social media just to give an idea how bad things were. So it feels to the netizens and fans that Hype had failed to read the room in this case. Given there was already all this backlash to Justin, why then give him this opportunity to create a remix that wouldn't just be promoting 3D but highlighting this person and launching this alleged bad person back into the mainstream spotlight. I will say these collabs and the people they choose to work with are usually done with care so they probably would have already done the research on the person before allowing the collab and I would also like to note most people don't know about the situation or the hate that is going towards Justin so it's not like that hate will transfer over to Jungkook. And I'll notice that oftentimes in K-pop when a fan thinks that everyone thinks something and talks like it like everyone thinks it when in reality it's not that many people in the grand scheme of things or sometimes it's literally just like four people. I don't want to excuse potential bad behavior from Justin but I also think it's very easy to look at someone now and say that they're only successful because they hurt someone and the narrative right now it's very easy to look at things that way. Not saying it's untrue I'm just saying it's possible and I only say this to try to remain as neutral as possible. Let me know what you think make sure you check out Patreon for more videos link down below. Thanks for Love the comment right here. Love you. Bye.